Hi friends. In maths project, in this maths project, I am explaining about heights and distances. To find out the height of our school building or our houses, any big size of trees, plants, we need to find take the tape and we have to take it from top to down and we have to find it. But this trigonometry concept we are using in this trigonometry is nothing but three angle measurement. It is all based on the right angle triangle. Now all the shapes are exactly perpendicular to the base. For example, you see this house. I find it is height of this house without using any tape. Only the concept of trigonometry. Now height of the building is exactly perpendicular to the base. Now this is height and base I can measure. Came in 40 centimeters. Now we form a right angle triangle. So angle from here to track to this angle length is 25 centimeters, 25 degrees. Now 25 degrees is the angle. Opposite by adjacent is the tangent. When apply this formula, when adjacent is 40 centimeters, so tan 25 is equal to h by 40. After applying formula, what angle is equal to 18.6 centimeters. Now using the scale, you find out it's exactly 18.6 centimeters. For example, if any problem we are getting to the base finding, even though there is alternate measurement trigonometry, now one more exhibit is this side of the tree I am finding without finding even the base. Here I took two protractors. From one protractor when I measure the angle width is around this alpha. Now after moving some distance to the, towards the tree, again I find the angle to the top of the tree from the base is angle beta. Now for example, if we can't find the base, in case the base is very far, now use this alternate approach. Alternate method, angle alpha is far from the tree and angle beta is near to the tree. Distance between the tree is 20 centimeters. Now even if you know this distance, by using the height of the tree formula, 20 by cot alpha minus cot beta. You can see the proof of this formula in this. Any two right angle triangles. Now I explain the proof of the formula of this. You know, like this diagram, I want to find out the height without any base. Now, so from here to this is 20 cm, you count that. Now, alternate method, the distance between alpha to beta is if it is 1 meter, and angle is alpha and angle is beta, there are two right angle triangles. From first right angle triangle, you will get x is equal to h cot alpha minus 1. From other triangle, you can get h of cot alpha minus 1 is equal to 1. Both if you substitute, you get finally. Height of the building or height of the tree is nothing but 1 by quarter alpha minus quarter beta. Here 1 is how much distance we took. So, but in that project we will take 20 centimeters. So, 20 by quarter alpha minus quarter beta. So, using the trigonometry calculator, scientific calculator, we can find out the values and by substituting the formula, we will get original height of the tree or original height of the building without using tape. For that, with the low cost, low cost, prepare for mathematical project progress. So the base between the two poles is exactly 1 meter. Now is we put one protractor and another one protractor. Distance between these two protractors is exactly 1 meter. So from for example that side our left side is the object is there. Now we have to prove find the angle from top which is far from the object is alpha which is near the object is only beta. Now from here we have to straws are there. This straw you can keep the center position, I can find out the angle. Now, when you are finding that is angle B. If some way one more stop, you can keep, and again you can find out the angle. This angle alpha and angle beta, if you substitute in this formula, you will get originally height of the object. From alternate method we are using, if you are accurate, for example, in the straws also you can't see properly, then accurate measurement of our school building walls, we can use the concept of some laser light. Now, using this laser light, so laser light generally you can't see in the open area, but when you keep the powder, you can see the laser light. Right? Now using this laser light also you can position the ball of this. So when it coming, you can position. Now this is you can use this exactly from center we can take. Now this is the top. Now you can see the edges, the top where the laser light is going is laser. Now you can find out the angle in this. Similarly, from other side also you can find out the angle. From the center, we can do by sprinkling this, you can see this. And then you can also get the laser light. Okay, now this is the angle alpha, and you can see this from the angle beta. These two values you can substitute in this element formula, you will 
get exactly height of that object. So the main source and use of this project is without any base measurement also you can find it. In this experiment we took 20 cm. But additional priority is this. This is completely low cost, no cost. Just with the convenient between them. You can find if you have the two items from the object by substituting in the formula you can get the height of this. So this is a simple mathematical trigonometry based project. I hope you understood it. The preparation of this model and some other videos if you want. There is a link in the description below. Just to click on the link and you will be redirected to all the videos which are helpful for the educational site. Means not only math, you can see science and other subject videos also you can see in the video. So I hope you understood well. Have a nice day.